right guys, we are at Goodwill and we're gonna go in and see what treasures we can find. I'm not using my stabilizing stick just because if it's really busy, I'm gonna have to keep the camera close, but let's see what treasures we can get today. Okay, so first up we have purses. Now that I've expanded and I'm selling on eBay and Etsy, I can kind of widen the range of items and I want to dabble a little in purses. I enjoy accessories, I enjoy purses, and I'm really just kind of going for what speaks to me right now. If it's got a boho style or a name I recognize, I'm trying to learn. Um, some of the purses can be priced pretty high, so I'm trying to find stuff that is at least $8 or less. So if I do get it and it doesn't work out, I'm not out too much up front. Here I was struggling, as you can see, to try and get the tag. I haven't filmed in here in a while, so it was a little different trying to figure out names and the prices. And I think that this ended up being just like a Target brand. I had thought the look was cool. I liked that purse, but there was some damage. That was kind of neat with the little southwestern or the patterning on the inside. That one I think was $3.99. I like the look of that one. The mustard color caught my attention. And I will get better at this, guys, if I'm not showing the labels. This was just on a whim. I went in here with my camera. That totally reminded me of a prom bag, but they wanted $10. Another $10 bag. And it was nice there weren't too many people in the bag section this day. They have just a small bag area as you come in. That's a tourist piece. I did end up picking up this one because I think that this is a pink Victoria's Secret pink brand bag. So I thought it was cute and I believe it was only $4. So I did grab that. I haven't found any comps to it online yet, but I am still figuring out how best to list that. That was one of those bags where when you run the sequins different ways, they make different shapes. I was checking to see if it was a Betsy Johnson, but it was just a Target. This I actually have the matching wallet to, so I thought it was cute. I know it's a Target brand. I was trying to check it for damage, and then I didn't notice, I think on the bottom, I tried to show it, it may not have caught it, or on the, there was one side where you could tell it had been rubbing on jeans over and over, and it had that wear on it, but otherwise that was a cute bag, but it was $13, so I left it, and I believe now we're moving on, we're heading past the baskets, and we're gonna head to my favorite section, which is the linens, where I always hunt my afghans. And I know a lot of my friends call me the afghan queen because I tend to find a lot of afghans. Although this time of year, I'm slowly picking up less and less of those just because we're getting into the warmer season. I also thought it'd be good to kind of look at the scarves to see if there was any that felt like they were good quality. Again, I'm branching out and learning new things now, getting not that I'm getting away from my vintage, vintage is still my main, but just exploring. I debated on this owl scarf. I thought it was cute. I know people like owls. I probably should have picked it up for one of my live sales. I wasn't thinking, but I left it. This one, I think there was a hole on it, a hole. So I didn't grab that. It wasn't really the colors. I liked the floral pattern on this. This felt vintage to me but it was just the fitted sheet and there was no top sheet or anything else to match. I just liked the strawberry pattern. So here we're hunting for afghans. That was kind of cool. Those were actually pants. Those were a set of capris that got mixed in with all the um, linens. It was kind of funny. That one just wasn't the colors I was looking for. I don't know why I picked up that bath mat. <laughs> so
so in my goodwill the afghans get mixed in with all the bedding i did end up grabbing this one and this one has actually already sold on my etsy it lasted like a week so if you're out and you see purple afghans purple is a hot color it always sells within a week or two i find online but that's just for me it may be my area i'm in i'm not sure but people seem to really like purple and i don't think you see it as often this one i've looked at time and time again it's been sitting there for like a month there is a spot where there there is a hole that has worn between the seams so that's why i did not grab that one That was kind of cool. That's that giant yarn that's super soft. I think I was checking over the afghan real quick. Before we head off to the hard goods. So that's kind of my route. I usually hit up the bags, then I hit up the linens, and then I go back and I try to check out the littles. So this was the little knickknack section. And I don't think it was too stocked this day. I think even though he was left in, I didn't grab him because it was so specific with the graduation. And this isn't like graduation season right now. I probably could have grabbed that and held on to it. This I thought was a neat piece of pottery. I was checking to see if there was any good maker marks on it. It was actually nice and quiet in here the morning. This particular morning I went, there weren't many people, which was nice. This is a Keen piece. If you know the name, the artist Keen, she did all the big-eyed portraits. I believe it was in the 60s. I actually collect Keen-inspired items. I have a cat print and I have a home-painted piece of a kid sitting in the chair with the big eyes. So I was excited to see that. I wanted to bring it home and research it. Easter is coming, so I was looking for anything that might be cute vintage Easter for my live sales. Did that say $8.99? Some of the prices have really, I'm, I've gotten very, very selective when I go to my Goodwill. I'm thankful to have it so close by and available to shop, but prices have changed quite a bit. So I think this one was priced $3.99. I don't know why I didn't grab that. I actually like that. But some of the prices have just really gone up on things and I try to be careful what I grab because I want to be able to still bring reasonable price items to my live sales and my online shops. So I'm just a little more selective. There was one of these honey bears in the back. I have one currently sitting in my Etsy shop that actually has the original um, spoon with it. I've stopped picking those up because I've found that they just don't sell for me. Although they are cute. There wasn't a whole lot on the shelves that was vintage in this section today. A lot of new. They've started doing a lot more bags at my store. <clears throat> I always try to go back and look up on the top shelf. I thought those lamps were really cool. I just like the green color of them. If I still had a vintage booth, that's something I'd probably pick up to put in the booths. Because right now I'm mainly online shipping only. There was this Mickey soap maker, but it was open and I wasn't too sure about that. <laughs> it was $5. Just another egg. I'm trying to look for more glass, learning about glass, ceramics, picking that sort of stuff up. It keeps it keeps it fresh, you know, learning different things and trying different items out. You 
now we have entered into one of my favorite sections. It's the kind of the frames and art. I'm always looking for cross stitch, vintage frames, original signed painted art, illustrations, things like that that speak to me. I do have an artist background, so I, I enjoy going through the art section. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. So that red and silver frame, I think I'm going to pick it up in a minute. I have bought that before. And when I bought it last time, it was 99 cents and now it's $4 there. So with what I would sell that for, I just left it this time. Lots of different art. There was, there was a lot of um, puzzles turned into wall art. I, I think I spotted a cross stitch. We'll see. That was kind of a cool frame. I couldn't tell if it was vintage though. It looked newer. If it had velvet on the back, I probably would have picked it up. To me, that feels like it's a little bit older when it's got the velvet. You don't see that, I think, a lot nowadays. And then I spot this. And I think it was signed in the 70s. It's $4 and it is a... Um, cross stitch so I did grab that for a future live sale or I might put it online I'm not sure yet I was just happy to find a cross stitch I do see a lot of um, the cross stitches with prayers or certain things about the house and I, I don't always pick those up because that's more um, a uh, it's a narrow category so these were interesting. I was just checking those out. Gotta always look at the end caps. I like the monkey. I think they were doing inventory. They had tabs and stuff. You can see I picked up another picture there. That was a pretty jewelry box. It had some inlay. There was also a music box. This I went back and forth on, guys, and I did not get, and now I'm thinking I should have. It's a Mackenzie child, so you all can yell at me in the comments if I should have got that. But there was damage on the bottom, so I wasn't sure, and I don't know a lot about it. And I'm still kicking myself that I did not grab that. Because I think that's the one I've been hearing about, and I don't know why. That day I was just like, nope, not today. That was a neat cup. I was trying to make sure I went the right way. To see, I'm still debating on it. I'm going back to it. I don't think I grabbed it though. I was worried about that wear on the bottom, I believe, how it had gone through to the black on the bottom. Cute little teacup set. I was thinking of my friend Kim at Oh My Vintage that loves to collect her tea sets. I'm sorry guys, I stepped in the wrong way. I was trying to find aisles that no one was in while I was filming. There's always a lot of clear glass. I need to learn a little bit more about that to be able to recognize different types, what's crystal, what's not. I kind of go by patterns and what speaks to me. I can't believe I left my cart for that long. <laughs> I was feeling brave that day. Because I've had people where I left my cart and they started going through my cart thinking that it was employees putting stuff out. So. I don't know without, oh, that turned out to be an FTDA, that floral 
I thought it might have been four leaf clovers on there. I was looking for St. Patrick's Day items, but I think it was green butterflies. And I always like to look at this end cap now that they have the singles on display here. For a little while there, my Goodwill was actually taking random singles and bagging them together. But now they've got them back to just being individual, which is great. I think I spot a New York mug. For those who um, know me, I do collect vintage New York items. I'm having to wean that down a little bit just because my collection is growing bigger than the space I have for it. <laughs> but I still do enjoy a lot of ephemera like New York vintage postcards and like guidebooks about the area, things like that. I did pick up this mug and it is available on my eBay and my Etsy shop right now. I thought it was a cute, cute because it says expose yourself to uh, sewing. It was kind of a cute thing. I figured with Mother's Day coming up in May, that'd be a nice item to have online. There you can see I was checking out the New York mugs, of course. I think the ones that were there though had a lot of interior wear. Then I spot this other one that said, mom, you're one of a kind. And it's all these cats. And then the mom's got like the big red boa on. So I figured someone has to have a cat mom out there that would love that. So I like to pick up little quirky mugs like that. And then I go back to my cart. Everything was safe and sound. Still in there. <clears throat> and my Goodwill likes to mix it up on me. <clears throat> I will have not gone in for a week or two and I come back and they rearrange all the aisles. So I don't always follow the same path because sometimes I go back. And stuff's not where it normally is. I did find these. I think they're ceramic molds. I was excited because they were Japan and they were strawberries. So I believe I did put both of these in my cart. Because I thought with summer coming, I've been hoarding strawberry items. So in one of my live sales, I can do like a little strawberry section. I'm sorry, it's a little wobbly. I'm trying to, don't mean to make you nauseous. I have so many turkeys now. I couldn't, I couldn't get another one. <laughs> this I was excited to find because my parents have been giving me photos from when I was a child. They're going through and clearing out some of their photo albums. So I have been looking for vintage photo albums to put my photos in, and that one was pretty cool and only $4, so I felt like it was just waiting for me. This was a bummer. I picked this up, and the whole bowl was shattered within the saran wrap. But there was one that was not shattered, which is why I left it there. I'm trying to see if there's any cool patterns, any neat single plates. I kind of need to steer away from the dishware because I have about two bins of dishware that I really need to get listed. And I think it's not listed yet because I get excited to buy it, but then not so excited to photograph it. So the rule is, you know, I have to get through it before I can buy more. <coughs> Those were cute bowls. I thought they were kind of nice for fall, but I think they ended up being made in China. Sometimes when there's not a lot of people, I'll randomly take out my black light and I'll shine it down the aisle of glassware to see if anything glows. I didn't do it in this video, but sometimes I do it when I remember to bring it with me. Just because you never know. See, they were kind of taping random things together. Always drip glaze and stuff always catches my eye. I think that felt like a Target, a fall Target item. I'm sorry it's getting a little bouncy here, guys. Those were neat. Someone had hand painted this set of plates. And that was kind of a cool blue pottery ceramic set. I had no idea what it was for though. 
So that's why I was kind of twirling it and looking at it, trying to find the price on it. No idea what it was used for. But that's how you learn. You know, you go and you go back and you keep checking and you see different things and you eventually learn over time. So at this point, I had rounded the corner to the, um, what they call like the kitchen section where you have more of the pots and pans and utensils. And then I found this and I was so excited, guys. And I'll talk more about this in the haul. The Owl Bank is not for sale though, just so you know. And I'll explain that when you guys watch the haul video, which will be up next. Not after this video, but on a separate day. I've also started looking at, I think that was a whole set of coasters, and it made me think of Patrick from Trusty Huckster Mercantile, who loves his coasters. I have bought that cruise line set before, and it is still setting, sitting in my inventory waiting to be listed. And then I think, let's see. I thought this was neat, because it was like a little grab bag of all sorts of random bits. So I did grab that and we will open it together and check it out in the hall. I also keep my eye out for silverware now because my Goodwill does not get a lot of silverware or at least there's not a lot that gets put out. I thought that those might be cute for St. Patrick's Day. But then I wasn't sure there was wear on the edges so I ended up leaving those. And if there's anything you guys think I should have grabbed and that I might have put back, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear your feedback and get everyone else's perspective on things because we all have different items we look for in different niches where it, niches, niches that we like to shop. And I do think we have about four minutes left in this video. So if you liked it so far, please remember to give it a thumbs up and to hit that subscribe button. I do hauls and live sales and shop with me's and I'd love to have you hang out with me. This bag was full of salt. Like the stoppers had all poured out. That's a pretty little amber dish. But I'm not really picking up amber right now. Maybe when the fall comes around again. <clears throat> These were some. That was a cute little celery dish. Spoon rest. It was four dollars. If that had been like a dollar ninety nine, I might have picked it up. These were neat little green, almost like little Sunday dishes. They were all mismatched. In hindsight, those probably would have been cute to sell for St. Patrick's Day, but you know, when you're in the moment, you're not always thinking about those things. <laughs> This is a hand-painted Italy divided dish. So I did grab that for my eBay shop. I'm trying not to run over the person in front of me that stepped in front of my cart. That was a cute little pitcher set, a little bit of floral. They had some cute canisters. This also was an Italy piece, so I grabbed that as well to go with the other one. I like the graphics on that, but at four dollars, I wasn't I wasn't brave enough to get it this time. And this I can now show because that has already gone to its forever home with my friend Beth, a uh, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. She's from South Carolina, so I grabbed that plate for her, and I didn't want to show this video until she'd gotten it. I like those brass candlesticks, but the price was a little high. But as you can see, I still found a good amount of stuff at the Goodwill today. <clears throat> and I think now I take you and I show you my cart. I may have a slide out of order. 
Yep. So I have a slide out of order, but we're just going to roll with it. <laughs> so this was after I was in the art section. I went and looked in the aluminum section. I was in the paint and wood section. I thought there was a, a slide out of order. And pardon me if I'm losing my voice a little bit, guys. Allergy season. This was neat, but I wasn't sure who made it. And I think it was $4. I just wasn't... If it had like a maker on the bottom or something and the red was pretty worn. That was a cute little tin. The metal section is another one of my favorites because everyone knows I love to pick up brass pieces. And then this is kind of like all the wood and handmade pieces. I remember those bowls when I was a kid. My mom had one. The bottom was pretty scuffed. This sign I wasn't sure about because it was so specific. But let me know if you guys think I should have picked it up. It was like one of those uh, Dutch greeting signs for a house that someone had hand painted. Like a blessing. It was cute. I probably could have put that in my Etsy. But it also had that on the back, which made it kind of specific. So I wasn't sure about that. It was done in 82, though. So it was vintage. These I thought were metal. They were plastic once I picked them up. So if I had had my booth, I might have gotten those and like painted them up. But not anymore. That, this was kind of a neat little piece. A little sculptural. They had some cute items in this section today. More of the dog plaques. Aw, little grandmother sign. That's sweet. And then there's the little hand painted pig sign I had in my car and we are just about out of time guys so thanks so much for coming along with on the shop with me video i hope you enjoyed it remember i love to hear your comments below if i missed anything please let me know so i know for next time don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and i'll be back with y'all very very soon